graduated in 2010 and attends Saginaw Valley. Next to Ginger is Bailey Urbanic, who is a uh, last year June graduate, who is a freshman at CMU. And next to Bailey is Catherine Weaver, who also is at CMU. She graduated in 2010. Next to Catherine is Marty Langhorst. And some of you might have remem should remember, it would be hard to forget, <laughs> Amy Langhorst is, and Ben and Sarah. But Amy was in our very first diploma class. And next to Marty is Steve Paul. And Steve has two children that have earned the IB diploma. Jen in our first group with Amy, so Jen Paul, and Kim, who graduated just this past June, and they both attend Iowa State University. Well, I decided to, like, freshman year, you know, when I first heard about it, it sounded a lot like what I had planned anyways, like the classes that were in it and everything. So um, once I told my parents about it, they're all gung ho about, like, AP and all that, too, so I didn't really have a choice after I told them. But I wanted to anyway. <laughs> I just because I liked the challenge of it, of the extra, you know, stuff for the diploma. And it was more of a why not for me, I guess. I was about the same. I mean, I was taking a lot of the classes anyway. I've always had a why not kind of attitude. So I was just like, let's do it. And it was, I don't know, it was really worth it. And I heard a lot of people who did it and they enjoyed it. And I liked the aspect, like, of when people came in and they talked about it, the aspect of having, like, the tiny little IB family. Like, you always had those people where, like, you had multiple things coming up and you could just give them that look and everybody knew. And it was just nice. <laughs> Uh, mine was really different. My parents heard about it and they made me do it. Their rationale, <laughs> their rationale was that I was taking the classes anyways. And to be honest, I hated it when I was in the program. But when I graduated and I came back and I looked at it, I really appreciate IB and what it did for me. Yeah, I'm mostly the same way. Like my schedule didn't change at all. So I thought like the little extra part wasn't that much of work. And it turned out that it really wasn't. So it was worth it in the end. For us, it was more of a, an opportunity that was almost too good to pass up. Um, did a little bit of inquiring at different universities, et cetera, and seeing how it was received. And it was a very favorable impression. Uh, at the same time, fortunately, given what their plan was, their education plan, that was developed probably in sixth grade, knowing where they're going to go to school, it did help that they already had the language requirements, et cetera. And that's one of, probably one of the challenges. We just we were enthusiastic about it, and fortunately, the prep already dovetailed in. I guess the first point I'd make is, is that uh, as we looked at the opportunity, and this was very early on, this is 2000. Uh, our first reaction was, well, if we're not looking at this program. The expectations were we're not looking at this program because we felt that there was a deficiency with what was being offered in this public school system today. Our two older kids had uh, our middle and high graduates, and they both boys went to Case Western, and they were very well prepared. So, oh, we've got to make a change because things didn't work out based on what our experience was. So the second point was, this looks like a tremendous opportunity from the perspective, I mean, Midland's a small town, relatively speaking. And this, this program looked like a great opportunity to broaden the perspective of the students to be more globally aware than they would be otherwise. And we thought, why not? One benefit is I got a bunch of credits to go to SVSU from my IB test. And also this past summer, I studied abroad in China for two weeks. And I felt that IB helped me open my eyes to experiencing the world rather than like just going to China being this American. I could step back and look at it in different angles and look at the culture. Um, go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, for me, credit-wise, I came in freshman year to CMU with 27 credits, 16 of those coming straight from IB. So that was huge, just to be able to jump right in, like not have to take concepts of biology or like stuff that I had already just spent the past two years, you know, really studying. So I was able to get ahead and that helped me then decide, you know, what I liked and what I didn't like and eventually what my major would be. So that was helpful. And uh, one thing that I think that having the experience of the diploma program helped me with was
ethic, like I can achieve it. And so that was, it gave me good material for essays and stuff, and even just personal insight. So. I was really bummed with that. I'm, I have 18 credits right now that I'm coming in with, but when I take Spanish this upcoming semester, I'll have 26 or 27 coming up. Um, and I think it definitely helped me get the scholarship that I did because the, one of the admissions essays that I had to take for it was exactly like a theory of knowledge essay that I'd already written. Um, and I think just being part of IB, like getting those extra credits really opened up my schedule with I didn't have to take a lot of intro like competency courses. I didn't have to take a bunch of classes that are like wasting my time, which I don't know, like, and part of IB that I can really appreciate is, like, you take classes that you're like, I don't want to take that, and they seem out of your way, and I don't know why you feel like they're out of your way, like, because I felt like that for organic chemistry and theory of knowledge, and I was like, why would I want to take those, and then I did them, and they ended up being some of my favorite classes, which is, I don't know, but, um, but when we, like, when I got to college, I felt beyond prepared, not only, like, as an IB student, but, like, I mean, just with chemistry I took in sophomore year is the exact same chemistry I'm in now, which, like, blew my mind, like, just being so prepared, and this that openness of my schedule lets me explore more things like as a person. Like next year, I have like so much more time to study abroad. Like I have, and I got a scholarship to study in Segovia next summer. So I'm really excited about that. So I don't know, it just like, it opens up so many opportunities on opportunities. Like just when you, when you let those like restrictions of, I don't know if I can do it. And you're just like, well, I am doing it. And then you go ahead and you keep pushing yourself in college. And you try to do classes that I'm like, there's some crazy stuff right now. Like I'm in a racism class with like an ex-gang member, like it's crazy. It's like, <laughs> it's awesome. It's like, I don't know, it's all the opportunities I get. Like if you just get to open up like yourself to other people and your schedule opens up, you can do so many new things. So that's what I really like about it. I guess I think uh, personally, I'm just a much better person overall. Cause I think the classes, like the classwork was essentially college level. Like the classes I'm taking now is like a step down from what I did in high school. It's really easy compared to it. And so I just think I'm a better student overall because it teaches you how to critically think. It's not just regurgitating information, which is what a lot of school is. And uh, I think the IV program, like especially the social studies classes, teaches you how to think better as a person than an individual. Yes, actually one of the things we noticed is a growth, maturity, self-confidence, poise, uh, really came out of the shell because they were challenged differently. It wasn't a rote memorization and regurgitation, it was more of a, as I return, conversational engaged learning, uh, which I think is a, a big positive. Uh, they also, we just noticed their comfort level speaking in groups or one-on-one -on -one in an adult environment. I mean, they just really matured their self-confidence was there. Uh, one daughter, a little bit more of an introvert, she came out of her shell a little. Uh, the other one, <coughs> she actually is um, hyper involved with everything. You know, dope right at Iowa State, and she's dope right in, and uh, it's just amazing watching how she's blossomed. It, it's almost, for academic success, it doesn't seem like she works very hard, even though she's a challenging, challenging cat. A class load given all her extracurricular activities. But I think the time management that was learned. Uh, I give a lot of credit to the IB, did create some, some challenges, but by the time management skills that were learned, we're seeing the dividends pay off. I think the, um, the takeaways uh, for our daughter were one, um, the challenges that the IB program. Uh, presents to a student as they go through high school really help build self-confidence for that student as they go to school. So when when they first set foot on campus and, and begin to go to classes, I mean, the discipline is already in place about what you do, this is your job, and how to react to the stress that comes with that is not new. They've been down that path before based on the challenges which they've just gone through the previous year, the last two years. So that's the kind of the internal process thing. On the, uh, on the takeaways specifically, I think the critical thinking skills that you build in the context of the program, the IB program, are, um, they, they manifest themselves in, in 
every class that they take, whether it's a scientific track, if uh, Mark, our daughter's an engineer, uh, it helps them digest information very quickly and uh, come to conclusions and take action. Um, the theory of knowledge class is a, is the, is the foundation for them. They build on that. So I think in the end of all of this, they're very self-confident. They feel they've been stressed. They've, they've survived. And they know that they can do that in this larger stage in which they're placed is beyond middle school. So self-confidence and critical thinking skills, and they, and they, uh, they feel ready, ready to perform. challenged um, and I think probably the one and it wasn't necessarily so much stress but at the end of senior year all of your friends are senioritis and I'm already in college and now I'm done and they're all excited and I'm not taking like any exams and I'm like oh awesome I'm taking five um, <laughs> that's great um, so I mean that was always I mean like oh I already got work done so that's a plus like I mean it, so that was hard because you still had to hunker down when you're just like it's warm outside and so, I mean, but you had, like, the things I think that got me through it the most are your teachers were like, come on, you can do it. And, like, you have, like, your friends who are doing IB or even if they're not doing IB, like, they're still taking the test with you. And the, having those study groups or having those moments in class where you can talk about, you know, things that aren't cool and then coming right back to still studying to bring in that focus, I think, really helps. Um, and there's always the challenges, like, when you have multiple projects on one, like, a paper due in one week, and then the next day a project's due. So, I mean, the time management, you really have to, like, and I had a part-time job, too. So, like, really managing my time was a challenge. But, I mean, you need that in college, too. So, I mean, I was really thankful that I went through the whole experience. And then, I mean, I have friendships for a lifetime with my little IB family. And then other people who just had the IB experience, and they knew what the tests were like. And it was just, you're in, the, like, the room taking it, and you just all laugh when you're done because you're like, <laughs> so. um, I remember my junior year, it was the first time I was taking an IB test, and it was an IB AP class, it was psychology with Mrs. Toner, and I remember I was just freaking out, and I think every morning and every day after school, like in the spring, I was in her room with like the rest of the juniors that were in the class, and she would help us study and see what we knew, and for me just that first test was the most stressful part of it but knowing that you had friends in the class that you could study with and knowing that Mrs. Toner was always there willing to help, it got me through it. So thank you, Mrs. Toner. I guess I can say that I honestly was never really stressed, <laughs> but I don't know if that's my mentality with school, but um, I guess the hardest thing was just the last month and all the tests uh, at the end. Because as Bailey said, you know, I had a bunch of friends who w weren't doing like any tests at all, so they were kind of annoying. But <laughs> I was just gonna say, um, when you're in the diploma program and you're in all IB classes and like pr you have projects in all of those classes, so they, you know, they tend to fall in the same couple weeks, and so that got pretty stressful. But you know, like Ginger and um, Bailey were saying, teachers, like teachers were really understanding, which was really helpful, and. The group of Ivy students, you know, the camaraderie, I guess, and support um, was really helpful too. So. Yes, actually, the um, being in the inaugural class this yes. week, there were some some cheerful nights, etc. I think one of the houses was that we had talked um, Jen to to talk with the teachers, and we built a rapport. And you know, teachers aren't your adversary; they're there to help, and it really worked out well. I think it helped her build as a person, and that was a big positive. For Kim, since the program is a little farther along, the class or the student mentoring programs were in place, and that really seemed
added stress as part of it. I think it, it's, um, uh, it's unavoidable. Um, certainly there are, you know, students react differently to it. Um, having balance, um, playing a sport is still, and doing this program I think is still possible. In fact, I think it's beneficial because it does provide a, a mechanism for stress relief that it worked fine in our case and for our daughter. Um, I think people just have to have an expectation in managing this. I think people have to have an expectation is I'm just going to do it. And if, they, if they've got that perspective going in, yeah, it may be 3 in the morning before they finish the work that they need to do, but that doesn't happen every day. But they just press ahead and they learn how to cope with the stress, the volume of work, and the deadlines, and the anxiety. <coughs> you know, at the end of all of this, after they've been doing these, we're taking these classes, there are tests. And then, you know, on top of that, the extended essay, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that is thrown at them that would not otherwise be there. And so they have to manage that. And it, uh, it's actually a, a great building, a, a character building experience. One of the, the, the right place to start promoting is probably in sixth grade. Part of that is, is the parents and families need to understand that we need to start foreign language. Understand the implications of any cross grading you have. Uh, some of those are being worked out by the district, so it's not going to be an issue. But fortunately, since our kids were on the full college track, we made sure that their academic profile incorporated foreign language, etc. Uh, how many students are impacted you know, with co op opportunities? Because they want to be co op, but the IB program doesn't, doesn't work as well with that. Those are some of I know, um, when I was here, um, I don't know how it's being pitched lately, but there was just this overall cloud of, like, IB is terrible, like, it's so hard, it's whatever, and I think, I don't know, I think that's not fully true, because I think it's very attainable, and I think a lot of younger students are scared off right away before even considering it, just because, you know, they hear you know, complaints from IB students or just like talk around the school of, oh my goodness, that's crazy. So it's like people, like students get in their head that it's only for the nerdiest of nerds or like the smartest people, you know, and I think it's sad because I think a lot of students have, have that potential. They just don't, they don't realize it like as a freshman in high school and they never go for it. And I know like it's better to prepare yourself to do it and a year in, be like, you know, this just isn't working out. Because I'm not saying it's for everybody. It's not for every student. But um, it's better to start and prepare yourself for it and give yourself that opportunity than to get a year in and say, oh, man, like, I should have should have done this, you know, because by that time, it's too late. So. Well, when I was in school, I heard a bunch of my friends saying, IB, it's, like, why should we – take IB credit and like the teachers were really good about like bringing in like projects that the IB kids had to do and that would be sent off to the whole class like everyone would do them it's just the non-IB kids wouldn't have them sent off to somewhere in the world to be graded and I think just letting students know that everyone in the class does the same work is beneficial for the student knowing that they're already doing the work, so why not have it sent off to possibly get credit? And actually ask the question of people that came off of if they're taking the IB diploma or the full certificates. 90% were going for certificates. There are quite a few going for the full diploma, but the program is well known. The students are aware that they're participating in a program grade class where they can at least get the certificate even if they have gone through the full IB program. One, one point I guess I share with you um, a perspective, actually, that was surprising, surprising to us. Um, we, we, I think our perception is, is that the Midland prepares students very effectively, very well for a college experience. 
and I think that's in, uh, in general very true. Um, our, our daughter uh, was a chemistry major at Case Western. And uh, in her sophomore year, she's taking organic chemistry. There were seven or eight people in the class. Most of them were from the East Coast. And six of the eight people had already used the same text which was being used in case. They had that same class in high school. And this is a case question. So there's a tremendous amount of competition in these schools. These, these kids that are leaving the middle are being thrown into environments where there are kids that are better prepared that have more experience uh, than what they're, even though they are well prepared, they're not, they haven't experienced the same things that they have. The, people, the kids who come from the East Coast schools and the West Coast schools in particular, and that includes IB students, since those are kind of the hotbeds of IB. And so this is becoming the norm. That's the environment in which these kids are coming into, regardless of the schools, whether big schools or small schools. There's a tremendously competitive environment into which they're walking. That's the reality. 